All right, so here we go. Uh, today the plan is we are going to meet up with his friends. Three Sundays a month, they just have coffee. And then on the last Sunday of every month, they have a lunch. We're gonna go have coffee or tea or whatever with his mates. The mini bike club here in Ho Chi Minh City has probably about 100 people. On these kind of weekend events, you know, people work, they've got lives to live. So we'll end up probably seeing maybe 10 to 20 guys. Another interesting thing we talked about yesterday was engines. In New Zealand, everyone just gets Chinese reproduction motors and throws them in because of the cost and the lack of availability of parts to modify the, the genuine Honda motors. Now over here, they're just shocked. I was telling him we kind of like have disposable motors. It takes him about a week to put a motor together, then he'll spend a month tuning it, just getting it fine-tuned and right. He's had that bike up to 107 kilometers per hour in GPS. And it's a four-speed manual, started as a 50, and now it's about 98 cc. A 125 Lifan type engine, they've got quite a slow rev, but this thing here is quite impressive. There you go, rev bomb, rev bomb. Red ball. He doesn't have a horn. <laughs> <laughs> Bike stuff key tags, you can see he has one, and they're all getting wedding invites at the moment. One of these guys is getting married. We're having a filming standoff. All right, so here we are. I've come all this way, and there's a few bikes here. It, it'd be rude not to make a video about them. Let's go have a look at what we've got. What does Vietnam do when it comes to custom bikes? So of course we've got trees, Dax, which we know a lot about. This thing's wicked. This is a Honda Jazz, so a Honda Jazz, I'll show you a photo of one. And then this one here is pretty impressive. It's got this little bowl tank here. It's all like, I don't know, it's a nut slash cut exhaust coming out the bottom, which is quite cool. And you'll notice, Honda engine, Honda engine. Honda engine. None of them do repowers over here. We've got the mini trail. This one here, the Monkey RT, which is a twin tube frame. These things here uh, were quite a bit later. It's got a Yoshimura pipe up the back here. And tri spokes. Now this little jelly here. The switch gear and everything's modern. Like these are off a modern Honda, which is quite cool. So they haven't used, you know, cheap Chinese gear. They've actually used cool stuff. And just like everyone else, the, the plastic cover's sitting up high. He's got a giant carburetor under there. He's put a little bit of rubber here on his swing arm. This is an aftermarket alloy swing arm. 190.10 on the rear. 90.90.10. This here looks like a more modern electric start Honda 110cc motor possibly. I'm not 100% sure. These are for the passenger, but they've been custom made to work on this bike. They look like they're from some kind of Honda Wave or something like that. And basically the swing arm bolt is what they mount to, which is quite cool. And there's a little tab that comes out of another bolt down here to make them work. Honda DOZX, this is cool. Why is it cool? Because it's a DOZX and it's actually being used to haul a whole bunch of stuff. The little tail, and they've got the stoplights in the top of the tail as well, which I really, really like on these. Now this is quite cool. Four spoke rims, but they aren't your standard four spoke rims. They're like an alloy cut four spoke rim. 
I've got an oil cooler here. He's also got a rubber tube here, which seems to go back into the original airbox. Chili Thailand sticker, which we know from our last trip, Si Yuk. And then we've got the mini bike Vietnam. And this thing here has the square exhaust from a JDM or kind of 80s or early 90s Chili. And he's got a manual engine, as you can see here as well. These guys are really cool. They're doing some really awesome stuff. This is only like five or six bikes out of a hundred dudes in this city. <laughs> So we were sitting down having coffee and I said I want to go see one of these guys bikes you know these guys have all the bikes why don't we go look and feed this guy down here he said sweet days let's go have a look and my god he has some cool bikes wow spacey how cool is this sticker kit and also this Yoshi style car some oil cooler on the front and pink and this exhaust is just really really stunning Shiny. This is cool. Very tall. Honda Super Cup. 50 or 70? Or oh. 125. 125. Yeah? It's got the big carb. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I see. Cool. So he's got slicks on this. Look at that. Racing boy rims, which are really, really nice. This engine's been colored really nicely looks like they've kept the original leg shield which is very cool and he's got um oko shocks on the back good rider this is very cool my my logo your logo yeah feed dex very cool feed dex so that's his logo here and this thing has slicks uh we're running 12 inch wheels i believe here yeah, 120 70 12 on the front one twenty seventy twelve on the rear. It's a really beautiful bike. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! Holy shit! Wow! Very fast. Oh, that. Yeah. This bike has a single-sided swing on. A single sided front fork, it's got a 150cc water cooled motor, what more could you want in a bike? Nothing. So this is a Dex, and this has like a CBR 150 motor, or an RS 150 motor, or a Sonic 150 motor in it. Um, so you've got your radiator here at the front, you've got your giant carburetor here, a single sided swing arm, which is currently blowing my mind. Check this thing out, Rexol. So this is... Oh my gosh, I've just noticed the front. Can you see that? It has single-sided shock on the front. This is genuinely one of the coolest bikes I've ever seen. This single-sided swing arm, Fedex. Fedex, I think his name is. We've got the carburetor here. I'm mind blown. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So Repsol ST150 rr So this guy's getting his own wraps made for his bike, which is really impressive. This is quite cool. And that's all steel. Um, Honda CBI. Yeah, CBR. So this Honda Chelly is pretty wicked. It's got a windscreen on the front there with this custom sticker kit. And as you can see, the engine swap in here it looks like a 110 or a 125 electric start. Honda motor, they always do genuine swaps here. And uh, the guards pink, chain guards pink, front guards pink, headlight buckets pink. And the handlebars are slightly narrow, but not too narrow. Check out that. <laughs> I hope I don't get my channel taken down for this. Nudity. But it's quite funny. And the seat is really, really cool. Close as I see. And we also have on the front here a uh, interesting, tasteful design. And we also have a front disc set up with a Takigawa um, shock absorber or dampener, I guess you'd say. But this thing's actually a China Dex, and so he wants to get rid of it. So if anyone wants a China Dex, come to this guy's house in Vietnam, and he will sell you one. We've got an NSR 150, and look, it is still a small bike. And uh, it's the SP Pro Arm Edition, which means it's got a single sided swing arm, which is really impressive. And uh, just a wicked little two stroke here. Got the DOZX. Why the ZX is so popular? Because it's got a really tunable engine. And I've also got a stop tail light up the top here. Um, look, that might not be the reason they're super popular, but for me, that's why I like them. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. Here, uh, shock dampener. 
Ờ, sắp năm bờ Takigawa sắp năm bờ Bị ngược, ngược sáng Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you later, P. Bye. <laughs>